Hey guys, this is Malekith with part 6 of my Fall of the Samurai playthrough. Um, for those of you who saw the previous attempt at part 6 of my playthrough, um, I was experimenting with the use of bandy cam as opposed to fraps, which was recommended to me. Um, it hasn't worked out for me. I know for some other people like Diplex it's working fine, but I've had absolutely nothing but issues with it. Um, so I'm swapping back to the software that I know works, which is fraps. It does mean I lose out on the uh, excellent quality voice recording that it did, but given the number of problems I have with working with material after it's recorded um, and the jumpiness of the combat in Shogun, I just can't continue using that really, so I'm back with Fraps now. Um, because of that issue with the jumpy combat, I have rolled back to my previous save, which was uh, the end of episode 5. So... Um, you didn't miss much. If you did see episode 6, the previous attempt, it's only three turns in length um, and there's only one fight. So there's not much that changes on the campaign map and I expect it will play out in an almost identical fashion. So you shouldn't miss much in that regard. Uh, so, like quick overview. We just captured this town here. I'll just repair the fort. Um, there's one... Shogunate Sympathizer left in the western part of Japan, which is on this island here. But we've been having issues with this province just to the east of our mainlands, who uh, have been making war threats. So these two here will be attacking either here or here. In the previous episode they went north, so I've no guarantee they'll do the same this time, although it is quite likely. Um, so I'm going to send some cavalry this way. Actually, I might send some infantry as well. Mods. Don't know how quickly they'll get there, but what do you wish of me? All honor to the no, so he's already done something this turn. Recruit a set of troops, and uh, I think that's everything. So let's end the turn there. So yeah, just like the uh, the previous version, these guys have declared war. It was kind of expected, really, the amount of uh, manoeuvring they were doing in the previous couple of turns. Basically, going, we're going to come declare war on you. So at least they're still honourable about it, telling us they're coming. So I'm going to continue with this research here because that gives me access to uh, elite foreign units from France, Britain or America um, and allows me to improve my docks which should let me get more trade in and therefore more money so let's take what's left of this army so I'll take all the cannons, the general and the healthy units possibly that one uh, put them back on the boat As you command. And then head back towards home. It is an honor to serve you. Drop anchor. So how far Let can these guys get? My lord. Mm, you can go in the town. For the Emperor. On the move, sir. Destination reached. Another unit in there. As they've gone north, let's have a bit of a scout. Yep, they've left this completely undefended. We've just got the garrison in there. So if we send. How does that affect their happiness? So they're at zero now, so I don't want to strip any more out of there. And I'll um, try and bundle it up with some of these guys and head east with them. Don't think there's any more I can do this turn. Check these guys are still happy. Yep, they're on zero. Okay. So the Sioux have 
changed from being for the Emperor and are now standing with the Shogunate. I think they're over in this sort of territory, sort of the middle of Japan. Um, they're one of the DLC pre-order factions. I think it's the Steam version, so I should probably be able to play them if I wanted to. Now, I don't think the circle gets close enough. Not quite, so I can't bombard them, unfortunately. Can I? No, I'd have to move closer. I can have to get those troops in the town, I think. Yep. So that's some nice reinforcements that have just shown up in there. I've got the option to recruit more, but I think he'll get into attack before they show up, so I don't really see any point in doing so. I'd probably be better off recruiting units there and Ready for battle. doing that. Yes, my lord. Orders received. Ah, so that's an enemy geisha. You have use of my talents. That is beyond even I can't do anything against her though. I'm not sure who can deal with those, so I'll have to work that one out later. Okay, let's end turn again. So we've come under siege, called up a garrison of two rifles and one set of spears. He's got, I think, Yari Kiyo Spear Horseman, maybe? Two generals, they'll be on horseback, cannon, and then some quite highly experienced uh, levy infantry. And a set of ninja. They might cause havoc, I seem to remember they throw bombs at the walls. They cause quite a lot of devastation to anyone standing on them. So let's sort out my army. I'll start by putting the general and cavalry up here out of the way. Along with the spearmen. And all the line infantry. Just get everything up here so I can stop putting things where I actually want them. So let's see. I think if I have my superior line infantry up there, they can cover quite a wide area, and I've got no risk of them getting jumped, really. And then I need to cover this face, so if I put the levy is ready, sir. I reckon some will come from these woods, they always seem to. So it's just a shame you can't get the troops to break up nicely along that area. I think what I'll do is I'll put my next most experienced unit up there. Can I shuffle them right a little bit? Not really. Oh yeah, that's better. So then they can sort of give suppressing fire if need be. Then one down there. So that leaves me three. The lady is ready, sir. Now then, I'm going to want one in here. One over there. Which leaves the last one. It can stand in down there somewhere. Sold on this one. Let's shift these around a bit more. Maybe not that much. Maybe there. If 
Have those guys there. You need spears in there to hold off anything. You need spears down. You know, down here. And then a unit up here. Cavalry. Now I can just sit up here. They can rush out through one of the gates, depending where the enemy shows up. I'm where they're most useful. So I'm, I'm intending to use the spearmen sort of as a sacrificial unit, so that if things start climbing up the walls and I'm starting to get overwhelmed, the gunners can run back and the spearmen will throw themselves in. Because nearly all your kills come from people shooting down from the walls. But anyway, let's uh, wait and see. Today, sir, we defend. So, we have two units aligned there. Three of their five cavalry there with the cannons. So we're missing two units of cavalry, the ninjas, and about three units of infantry. Which I reckon are on this area over here somewhere. I think the cannon's trying to shoot, yeah, my archery tower. Which is managing to do successfully so far. Don't think I've got enough troops down here. In fact, I think I will just abandon. No, maybe not. Uh, I'll make a decision. What am I going to do? All the way along there. I'll shuffle these guys around a bit. Come on, run. There's enough flanking shots going all the way down there to shoot those guys. Yep, okay, so here comes the other infantry out of the woods. And you've got your ninjas hiding down the back here. You should start taking fire from these guys at some point. Cavalry are holding back. Uh, what you may not have seen in previous episodes, uh, which you will see now, is I've been given the blood pack kindly by Diplex. So you will see sprays of blood. Gone, and um, some very nice beheading animations as well at points. Out, there come the bombs. Oh, that was painful. Right, fall back. Or just fall round some more, maybe. And then you guys can defend the wall. So these guys are advancing at a walk by the look of it. I'm not quite sure why. Some return fire from these guys. Ninja are taking fire from above and spears from the front. There's a, oh, there's a head. There's another one. There's heads everywhere. Ninjas cut down left, right, and centre. Let's have a check of this side. So the horses are just standing around out of range. 
Got a unit of infantry sort of fighting with the corner of my defence. And these guys look like they're about to scale the walls, but instead they're running. They're just taking too much fire. There's 150 troops getting there. You can see the scatter of bodies. Back on this flank. They're moving up towards the gate. I don't know if they're going to firebomb the gate or try and climb the walls. But again, this front unit is probably going to run. Unless it takes uh, strength from the one behind it. But it is getting shot from multiple sides now. Sprays of blood everywhere. No, they've had enough. They've broken. Their friends, however, are uh, still going. They've broken. These guys need to fill the gaps in their line. I've lost too many on the corner. I can't make them mind up what they're trying to do. Oh, they're going for the walls. Here we go. We have climbers. Let's wait for them on the inside. So there's a fire on the gate. Oh, he opened his chest up. Head gone there. Gruesome. Another head, I'm sure, just rolled off somewhere. What's happening with the cavalry? They seem to have moved in. Yep, they're moving in on foot. Those guys back. I have the spearmen cover the retreat. I haven't made use of my cavalry, have I? Let's get them out here. Spears can charge the infantry that have just come up from the uh, generals. Cavalry in there. Just opening them up with swords. That way. guys are trying to climb the wall but I'm going to charge them in the rear of the spearmen back over to here the cavalry charge everything No, 
Oh, they're running. Chase them down. Your victory is close, sir. There we go. Victory. Decisive. So there you go, we lost 410 and they lost nearly 3,000. Kills wise, the garrison infantry got 600, they only lost 62, so I'm not sure where on the wall they were, but they were obviously having a whale of a time. These guys lost one. Got 584 kills. What did the cavalry do? They lost quite a few troops for not quite so many, but they were running at several units of their firearm infantry. They did also both get promoted, which is always good. Interesting how the I guess they're garrison infantry, so maybe they don't quite work the same in terms of their uh, ranks. Although these guys went up, so I must be talking rubbish. And his entire army's dead, which is always good, because I love that little animation there. Let's bring about a very Godzilla feel though with him just laying on the small little buildings like that. So this is someone with a passion for Rengaku, learning born of the dealings with the Dutch. He's been promoting his western ideals so we can encourage him or kill him. I think I'll encourage him. So that's the fight up here dealt with. So I think I'll leave it a turn to let everything recuperate. We send the Ashin down. For the Emperor. Your next command, my lord. I'm not sure I, who I best used lord. against a geisha. I guess we'll find out. So we've got another enemy army there. So maybe I do want to retreat back and uh, cut my losses for now. Ready for orders. Look at these guys recruit. I have only got standard cannons. Your orders, my lord. All I don't know. I'll make a combined army. Oh, the beach is back there. Let's give them a turn to recuperate. My sword for you. As you command. Is that all? So I definitely want those units. Your orders, my lord. I haven't got any spearmen. So let's send a pair of those. Ready for orders. And recruit another parrot gun, because those were fun. Ready for orders. Your orders, my lord. What would you have me do? Okay, so I can assassinate geishas. I just don't have the money to do so. At once. My lord? Equally, I could distract the army, but again, I don't have the money to do so. Very well, my lord. I will find rest. Summer. This is a bonus to replenishment rate. At your command. What is your bidding? 
It will be my pleasure. As you wish, my lord. You have further orders without delay. What is your bidding? So, I think we're going to have to end turn again. Mounting unrest in Nagato Tsushima. Minus two modernization. So I could recruit better units, but I literally just want somebody to calm the unrest, so I'm going to go with the cheapest one I've got. Very well, my lord. Is that all, my lord? Attack! Move into position for a siege. Besieging settlement! Continue the siege. None will escape. So what have we got in clan management? Let's have a look. Let's say ugly baby. So uh, we could convert allegiance, but I don't really want to. These are my various generals. I haven't handed out all my commissions. Commissions this one. Inspector General. Which is construction costs. This increases the spread of influence and various other bits. I reckon if we went gave that to this guy, because he's definitely in a town and he's sort of staying there at the moment. So his loyalty is treacherous. This is his, really? I'm going to adopt him because he's an awesome general. I'll make this guy this then. Let's put him in the army as well to further boost them. And of time. And they're coming out to meet me. This is very much going to depend on the battlefield, I think. So let's have a look at the sand table. So we've got a nice bit of elevation here. And, uh, I, I don't think that's any significant elevation. It's slightly higher, but not enough to make any real difference. Could make use of this forest. I could hide some cavalry in there to uh, come out on their flank. In fact, I might do that. Yeah, okay, this, this elevation is um, non-existent. This is flat as a pancake. And it wasn't forest at all. It was a extremely slight depression. Shows how well I can read a sand table. Right then. the parrot gun unlimbered at the front oh, we've got some shrapnel shot and a kill zone which improves the accuracy but anyway 
I'm just going to move these back a bit more, actually, just to make sure they don't blast the back of my parrot gun's head off. And then I'll have a unit of line. Too far across. Not enough. Yeah, second unit of line. I'll keep the spears back so that I can move them around to deal with the enemy cavalry. Have an angled approach to the front, initially at least. Okay, that'll do. Archeron awaiting orders. Prepare to defend, sir. Let's fire some shrapnel shot at them when they come into range. So all their cavalry appears to be going right. Right minute. There we go. So the wooden cannon's definitely out of range. Parrot cannon should be in range. did take 21 of their troops out. I would have liked a few more, but you know, I'm going to complain too much. Actually, where did those second set of spearmen go? Get back here. Got some bow horses out here. Have the cannons fire at whatever they like now. Infantry, what are you doing? Oh god. Be nice if the units did what I told them. And I paid attention to the other flank. Oh, now that's. It's not detecting my left clicks properly. I'll stop making excuses in a minute.
charge. Jeez. Why aren't you lot firing? Finally. Has hidden units, sir. Hidden units now oh, with cannons, okay. There's a ninja in here, which I'm not overly happy about. Let's charge a general to save the cavalry. And you ninjas. Can no longer fire. Okay, they're all out of ammo. Well, they're wooden cannons, that is. Let's see if we need to fight. No, some of our guys are getting their throats cut. That's unfortunate. So they're getting broken and driven back, it's nice. They're broken. Go on, Saber Cavalry. Go for their cannons. The Saber Cavs killing the general. And these guys need to advance. Close, sir. 
they're all running. Excellent. Could have gone a bit better in some places, but overall, I'm happy with that. We captured the unit wooden cannons. Excellent. So, let's have a look at the kills. It's the parrot guns, got 828 people, which is crazy amounts. I need more of those. Line infantry, that unit did well. Didn't lose many, but it shot a lot. There's the save the cavalry. There we go. So one did a lot better than the other, but they both they both did pretty well, to be honest. Killed more than their uh, number lost, which is the important thing, really. So he does have 131 troops remaining just about holding on to that town. Okay, we had a samurai revolt and that's a rather large army. But uh, So what I'm going to do guys is leave it there and deal with this samurai revolt in the next episode. So thanks for watching, hope to see you in episode 7.